Hi everybody, Flex5101, Esteban here. Today let's talk about how to change a structure's pipe and color uh, once it already has been generated from uh, a particular color to another. Okay, so very simple here. I'm over in the uh, flex5inc.com website. I'm just gonna download uh, an example here. We're gonna uh, do the load cart. I'm gonna click on this here. I'm gonna get the 3D file fill in my information here and i'm going to go ahead and send this over this way uh that's all done there i'm just going to look for that in my downloads and uh here we go so i'm just going to drag this over to the desktop close out of here open this guy up so the first thing i want to do now is create a bill of material so that we can see that the structure has been generated in blue pipe okay so first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and use the uh, generate DOM. And I'm going to go ahead and save on my desktop. And there we go. So it's over here. I'm going to open this up just to see what the description says. So we see that it's uh, saying P96BL. So we're using blue pipe in this case. And uh, what we want to do is be able to change that as well as the actual model. And uh, this is how we do that. So first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and hide any accessories that I've included. We can see there we got rid of the accessories. I'm going to go ahead and hide the <clears throat> connectors and also the tubes. So now we have just the wireframe. What I want to do now is go ahead and in the preference dialog box, that's the first icon here, we can see that it's blue. I wanna go ahead and let's say we're gonna select, uh, we wanna change it to red, red plastic. There we go, so we've made that difference there. Now what I wanna, what I need to do now is draw a red line using the pencil, because what I wanna do is in my model here, if we look at the house, every, anytime you press house is the actual um, drawing colors that are in the model. So in this model, I want to be able to have the red appear. So that is why I uh, selected the red as my color. And uh, using the line tool, I'm going to draw a red line. And there we should see that that red line has now appeared as a color code. So with that in mind, what I want to do is select my wireframe and use the red to go ahead and color the actual color right now is blue. So we're gonna see that blue change to red. So we can see the change has been made. I'm gonna get rid of that small line here. Uh, what I wanna do now is hide my wireframe. And this is a very important uh, step. Hide your wireframe. Um, reappear the, uh, the tubes because they're still originally blue. So we wanna go ahead and select all these and delete. Now we bring back our wireframe and that, that is it. Now we're gonna go ahead and generate and it's gonna say it has already been generated. We want to go ahead and regenerate. Yes, we do. And uh, once that happens, we're gonna see that the new tubes appear in red and we'll bring back the connectors as well as any of the uh, accessories we had so there we go we don't lose any of that and uh, very quickly one last thing we want to do is before we hit save well we want to save it actually so let's just do that now and so we have saved it we haven't created a new bill of material yet so remember if we open up that bill of material it's still reading blue but since we saved the new uh, updated uh, drawing, then now we're going to go ahead and regenerate that BOM. And now we should open this up. And it should say, there we go, P96 red. Okay, so we went from blue to red. And uh, these are the uh, steps that you need to follow to be able to go ahead and do so. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find it useful. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all of the above. Take care, guys.